So we get a chance to talk with the golf design legend, Arthur Hills, who put together this design that we've got here at Champions Trace, which is going to be featured in the uh, Barbasol Championship a little bit. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, is it going on now this week? Mr. Hills, good to see you, sir. How are you? Lee, good to be here. Thank you for talking with me. You, you, uh, you designed this, what, 30 some odd years ago, a little longer, yeah, I guess? Yeah, I guess that's about 35 years or so. What was the mission when Tom and the fellows came to, to, came to you and said, we've got a piece of property? Oh, I don't know. I think it was just to build a, de a decent golf course. Yeah. yeah, I think you did that. I hope so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess the tournament wouldn't be here if, if that hadn't happened. Does that give you a sense of pride when a, a place like this that has just sort of been, uh, it's been in use, but it hasn't had the venue or the, the prestige of a PGA event, finally gets its recognition? Oh, yeah, that's great. I'm glad to see it happen. Yeah. I'm glad to see it happen for Tom and for the owners and for everybody here in the locality. You know, one of the things that's going on in the tour is that these guys hit the ball so far. For a designer like yourself, is that something you embrace, lengthening these courses, or, or do you try to make it a little more difficult and make it a shot-making course? Um, I'm not too concerned about the course's length. I mean, I think for tournament purposes, they need to be lengthened out, but you know, all these golf courses come and go or su survive on the play of the members or the people that come and play. I mean, like Pebble Beach, it doesn't matter how long it is. It's, it's a matter of how much the people like to play it. Yeah. And it so it's uh, a little bit of aesthetics. It's got to it's look good to the eye, not just, not just about length and difficulty, is it? Absolutely. It's got to yeah. look good to the player. Yeah. It's got to be fun to play. It's got to be a... I think it's it's great when a person can uh, have a good round on on, a, on the course, whether it's this length course or longer or shorter. Was there a moment in your career where a, a PGA professional or maybe somebody that you respected or admired said something about one of your designs to you and that made you feel like, hey, I, I think I know what I'm doing? You know, uh, I don't know that that happened very much, but I had a partnership for about four years with Tony Jacklin. But other than that, uh, I haven't had too much contact with the golf professionals, the yeah. tour players. Yeah. So, it, I mean, but it does it does it have an impact on your design when 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 they either complain about or they brag about or I mean, do you want them to be real happy when they walk off, or do you want them to be a, a challenged? Uh, I would like them to be real happy. I <laughs> because if they're complaining, there's probably some shortcoming. I mean, there's probably some legitimate yeah. comment. Yeah. In, uh, here in, uh, in, in Lexington, uh, for this community, I mean, it's a, it's a big deal for us to get a PGA event like that and to play a part in it. I mean, it was, you you got to have some pride in that, I think. Oh, I'm delighted to see the tournament here. That's great for the community. It's great for the club. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, it, are we... Are we seeing a plateau in golf course design? Uh, is that economy driven or are we getting enough new players? How do you feel about the future of the game? Yeah, I think that there are enough courses uh, existing. There's very little new work. I'd hate to be thinking about uh, earning a living uh, today because there are very few courses being built, although there is some renovation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Arthur Hills, again, one of the best, and if you get a chance to play any of his courses that he's designed, you'll have a good time, even though you may get a little frustrated like I have on a few of your courses, sir, but it's always a pleasure to get a chance to talk with you. And thank you again oh, for the work you. over the years. We appreciate it. It's been my delight to do it. Thanks, Lee.